Hey ladies, so today we are doing press on nails. These nails are from the Kiss brand. Um, you can pick them up at pretty much any local drugstore. You can also get them online, I believe, like eBay and Amazon. If I can find links to them, I will put it in the description box down below. So the kit comes with nail glue, a cuticle pusher, and an emery board. The emery board has a nail foul on one side, so a bit of a heavier grit, and then a buffer on the other side, which is a bit of a finer grit. And um, so basically what I did, I started off by buffing all of my nails. That's just to remove the shine, remove any excess oils or anything like that. This just helps the glue to adhere better to your nail and to the fake nail. This way your nails will last longer and be stronger. So I buffed all of my nails and then I went in and I began pairing the nails up. So I got my thumbnails together, pointer fingers, middle fingers, etc, etc. So that way when I was ready to apply the nails, I knew exactly which nail I was going for and this just makes the process quicker. I will say these nails are made for people with shorter nail beds. I sort of have slender, long nail beds. So I had to size up on a few of the nails. And by sizing up, that means the nail is gonna sort of overlap onto your skin and things of that nature. But the great thing about these nails is they are super moldable, I'll say, for lack of a better word. I was able to take and file the nails down along the side and along the bottom to really customize the shape to fit my nail beds. And even though they file really well and really quick, it didn't take a lot of work to really get them filed down. These nails have really held up and they're super strong. At the time of doing this voice recording, I've had these nails on for about a week and I've lived my life normally and they have not cracked, they have not come off, they have not lifted or anything like that. So it's a really durable manicure and it's quick and it's cheap and it's super cute still. So once I went ahead and filed everything down, I began applying the glue. Now one thing I messed up with on my very first nail was I applied way too much glue. I basically applied the glue on the entirety of my nail. So from skin to skin on all three sides, plus the free edge, the glue was applied. And when I put the nail on and pressed the nail down, it forced the glue out from under the nail and it sort of gushed out onto my skin. It ended up getting on the top part of the nail. It was a mess. Luckily with the finish on these particular nails, it's not super shiny. So I was able to buff that bit of glue off that got onto the nail and it didn't mess up the finish or the integrity of the nail. So that part was really good. And then going forward, I left about an eighth of an inch of free, glue, unglued, glueless nail all the way around where the skin was. I still took the glue all the way to the free edge, but wherever there was skin, I left about an eighth of an inch space. So that way when I put the nail on and pressed down, it gave a little bit of extra space for that glue to move around without gushing out. Then I held the nail on for about 20 seconds, long enough for the nail to adhere to my natural nail and long enough to prevent any air bubbles from forming. So basically if you press it for too short a period of time, when you let go of the pressure you're applying, the nail is going to lift and it's going to create air bubbles and therefore it's going to make the nails weaker and keep them from lasting as long. So make sure you hold it down for a good 20 to 30 seconds each one. And after that, it was pretty much smooth sailing from there. I took the nail file and I buffed the sides of the nail once they were applied because I still had a few nails where the fake nail was overlapping onto my skin. And I didn't want that, so I just took the little emery board and filed it down. This would be much easier with a longer, more sturdier board, but I wanted to complete this manicure using only the set of nails that I bought like only the supplies that came in this set of nails just so you can see what's possible for eight or nine bucks without having to buy a whole bunch of extra supplies so it really did get the job done I also filed the free edge to get rid of that little bit of rough um, roughness to it and then here in a second you'll see where even on some of the nails my natural nail was peeking out from underneath even though like I did my best to match them up as much as possible, it wasn't 100% accurate science to it. <laughs> so basically what I did was I took the emery board and I just filed my nail down on the side so that way it went flush 
with the fake nail. And that was it. This manicure turned out super cute. If you enjoyed this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions you may have down below. And definitely check out these nails if you want a cute, cheap manicure. Thanks for tuning in. Bye, guys.